Hey guys, hope you're okay. Welcome to Soft Solution Repairs and it's Akil here. I've got Sony Xperia 10 here and the problem is it won't show anything on the screen. If we look closely, it does show image but very dim light. So it could be the LCD itself or backlight on the motherboard. So we'll go ahead and take this apart. We can't see any screw or other way to open it. So it must be taken apart by removing the screen first. So let's go ahead, take this apart and find out what's wrong with this phone. First of all, we'll heat up the screen, neither too much nor too little in order to melt the adhesive and remove the screen. Then using the guitar pick, we'll break the adhesive around the screen. We'll just break the adhesive on three sides, not the fourth one, cause we don't want to damage the screen, in case the screen is okay and the problem is in the motherboard. Then we'll lift up the screen and leave it between 90 to 120 degree and unscrew this one using 1.2 mm flip screwdriver. Once the screw is removed, there's a metal shield we'll have to remove. Just lift it up and pull it out. And now there are two connectors, one is for battery and the second one is for LCD screen. Just remove the battery connector first and then the LCD connector. And then pull the screen away from the housing. It will be a little bit harder because this side wouldn't break the adhesive. Upon testing the new screen, we found out the screen works on this phone, so we'll go ahead and install the new screen on this phone. Before installing new screen, we'll clean the housing, dust, leftover adhesive. Once all the leftover adhesive is removed, then we'll go ahead and clean the adhesive with isopropyl alcohol, so we'll make sure there is nothing left behind, no dust or anything left behind, so we can install the new screen properly. Once we make sure housing is cleaned, then we can install new LCD screen on it. So, we use our adhesive and apply it on the housing corner to corner. Once adhesive is applied, we'll go ahead now and connect LCD connector on the board first and then the battery connector. Then we'll put the safety shield back on and tighten the screw on it. Once everything is connected and placed and B7000 is applied properly, we'll go ahead and stick the screen back on. Keep one thing in mind, the adhesive we have used here, recommended dried and bonding time is 5 to 7 hours. So don't forget to clamp it for enough period of time. Once screen is bonded and adhesive is dried, we'll turn it on and check the screen works ok. This will take a little bit time to turn on. In the meantime, I would request you to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will be updated for future videos. Thanks for watching the video and goodbye for now.